In this video I'm going to show you how to put an FPS counter in your game. Okay, an FPS is frames per second, all right, and it's uh, one way of measuring the performance of your game. And ideally you would like to have uh, as high a frame rate as possible, so a high number on the FPS, all right? So uh, there's an easy way we can do this. And what we can do is we can go to the Unity Standard Assets Store and we can import the utility package okay and once you've done that it will appear in your uh, scene here okay and uh, when you click it open you'll see all of these uh, files alright we don't want all of those so we can click none and then go down here and look for uh, the utility we'll have all of these in particular we want this uh, script here called fpscounter.cs and we also want this prefab here, framerate-counter.prefab. All right, hit import. Okay, I did it earlier to save some time. And uh, it appears down here in your standard assets folder. Have a look down there. There'll be a new folder called utility. Okay, and uh, here's the scripts that we've just imported. And here's the prefab called framerate counter. So all we need to do is drag that framerate counter prefab into our scene. Okay, and uh, we'll go to the text here. And uh, if you can't see it on your screen, it could be because the font's missing. All right, so put a font in there. Okay, and then we'll just make it look a bit tidier. We've got overflow, overflow. I'll change the color to something that we can see more easily. And the size of this script, I'll make it 32. Okay, of this text, 32. I'll move it down by 50 okay and here we can clearly see uh, fps here okay uh, so all we need to do is uh, unclick anything on here so nothing's highlighted uh, and then we can just uh, press play here and we can see it working all right so and we're expecting to see some numbers here all right and uh, here we've got the fps all right so it's working this prefab's working and uh, the, if we have a look here um, the more activity on the screen there is, okay, uh, then the more this uh, FPS uh, changes, alright, so like for example here, I'll put, uh, use a couple of guns, okay, okay, you can clearly see there that when we're pressing the gun, it's just lots and lots of particles and things like that, okay, and uh, yeah, it's affecting the frame rate, so that's one way of doing it, alright, that's the easiest way of doing it. Uh, there is another way of doing it, <coughs> okay, and that is uh, the way that I prefer to do it, uh, is I don't use the prefab, but I do use the script, okay, so on my canvas, because uh, I already have a canvas, uh, I um, right click on the canvas, uh, UI, get some text in there, uh, call it, uh, I can call it text FPS, okay, uh, here I can type in uh, FPS and a couple of zeros, Right, give it the same treatment as before. Uh, overflow, overflow, make it blue. All right, and make this 32. Okay, and uh, here you can move it up a little bit so it's out of the way. And there we've got our FPS, all right, a little bit more. Put it at 150. Okay, and then we've got our FPS counter. So it's the same as the prefab, except it, it's using the canvas that we already have in the game, whereas the uh, prefab uh, comes with a uh, canvas, right? And it's kind of like, well, we've already got a canvas, let's use the one we've got already. And that's why I did it this way, all right? So all I've done is put some text on my normal canvas as it would be with any other text. Now I'm going to find uh, the script, okay? So I'll go to this uh, standard assets utility, look down here, looking for a script called FPS counter, drag that onto the text we've just made here, okay? Uh, we can save the scene, make sure nothing's highlighted over here because that can affect the reading. Okay, and all we need to do now is press play. We're going to see if it works in the same way as the prefab does. Okay, so let's have a look. Yep, okay, that's working. Okay, let's uh, just see this. There you go, right? So and that all works fine alright so I've just shown you two ways in which you can uh, 
yeah, yeah get an FPS uh, counter on your uh, game uh, and also you can see now that uh, yeah you want to try and get that FP up at FPS uh, uh, value as uh, high as possible okay uh, and in this particular game here I've uh, you know, deliberately um, kept this FPS quite low because I want you to be able to see this uh, in terms of a demonstration like it's not going to be like a solid 30 or a solid 50 or 60 or whatever yeah. alright okay. All right, thanks very much and um, yeah hope you learnt something and uh, yeah, please subscribe to the channel and give a thumbs up if you like the video. And uh, thank you.